Hello my friends and welcome to Flying Circus Models. This is the final part of my current project Halberstadt CL2 from Winnet Wings, the final assembly. It's time to prepare the model for rigging. I used resin anchor points from Gaspatch models and uh, I used them in 148 scale because they fit perfectly even though that the scale is wrong. I didn't have to drill small holes in wings uh, because the wind not wing uh, already made them in plastic on the correct places. So I had to just glue anchor points uh, with a super glue uh, with the right angle. The next step is uh, to cut a brass tube. I used 0.6 mm tube from Albion Alloys. You can uh, buy them from their website. Uh, you can cut them easily with just a sharp knife or scalpel in my case. You need to have a correct measurement uh, of the lens, apply a small amount of pressure with the knife and roll the tube a couple of times, and that's it. For this model you will not need too many of small tube pieces, and if you cut too many of them, you always can store them and use for your next project. Right now it's time to put all three pieces of the top wing together. Just a small amount of super glue and we can attach them to the central part of the wing. Same with the bottom wings. I didn't have any problems with gluing them to the fuselage. I decided to add some oil leaks before gluing the top wing and landing gear. I used a water-based brown wash and a compressed air from my airbrush to make oil worms more realistic. Even though this plane had not a rotary engine, but the inline six-cylinder one, uh, you can find pictures of different Halberstadts with a lot of oil leaks.
And here is the close look uh, where you can see the Lozenkama below the yellow paint. Then the model was covered with semi-gloss uh, clear coat, uh, so uh, the model is not too shine after the layer of uh, feature. And the rigging process is the same as I did on uh, all my other models, um, and you can find the whole process in my how-to video. Uh, it was very hard uh, to film and uh, to do the rigging this time for some reason, so I decided to leave only one line here. The whole rigging is done. Uh, this plane had two cross lines uh, between each strut uh, on the left and right sides uh, of the plane. Also, the ruder had uh, doubled control wire.
The rear machine gun was assembled and painted, and I decided not to glue it and leave it movable. The exhaust was painted with steel color and uh, I used uh, rust dry pigments on it. Also dry pigments were used on landing gear, wheels and bottom side of wings, fuselage and tail section of the plane. The propeller was uh, completed and uh, you can find uh, the video of uh, how I painted it live uh, in the link in the description. After the live session I let oils uh, to dry for about three days, covered with the layer of future, applied decals and covered with one more layer of future. The final step was to glue it uh, and the model is ready. As usual, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press like button and uh, leave your comments below. I read and reply to all of them. Uh, also, if you would like to support my channel, you could do it on Patreon, where you can see my videos early. Also, I share some interesting pictures there. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next builds.